Hello there, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to set up a React app with White. Well, if you are watching this lecture, it means that you are going to start your journey in React. And this is the very first topic which every developer learns before going to React, obviously, right? So, in this particular lecture, I will tell you that how you can do it very easily in a very detailed way. Even I will also explain you that why we learn white why work with white why do won't we normally download the react only well there is a better explanation for that and to understand that let's go to our video let's start so let's first understand that what is white well white is a modern building tool right that makes your front end developer faster and easier it means that if you are using this tool with your react app it will make the development work more faster and much more easier. The earlier React app was not very fast. It takes a long time to load the things. It need to save the components or save the part of code again and again to see the work and the development process. Well, this could be solved out using White, right? It provide a blazing fast startups and hot module replacement with the native ES modules. Now let's understand that what are the use that why we use white with react. Well, it provide a faster setup compared to the create react app means the earlier when you use react app for that you use create react app, right? For by this uh, you install the react, but now with the white, the fastest, the setup is more faster than your react app right and it provide instant updates while coding means that when you code and just when you switch your tab or you press on control plus s or you just move to your uh, chrome browser automatically the part of code which you have written there get updated and you see the the whole development process much faster right it uses the es build for faster building bundling sorry right yeah so there are certain advantages of using white that is it has a fast server startup and hmr it provide a modern javascript support out of the box right and it is easy to integrate it is easy to integrate with tools like tailwind react router these are the tools which we use in the development process to make the thing better and uh, much more faster which is a uh, which is basically react is known for these kind of things because it provides the integration, React provides the integration of these features and tools, but this white make those integration much more easier and faster. So let's go to our Visual Studio code and understand that how we can download our React app. Let's start. So we came inside our Visual Studio code, right? And I'm having a blank folder, right? Inside of this, I'm going to install my React. So for that, what we need to do, First, we need to click on Control plus back tick button, which is below your escape key. By that, the terminal get open. Now, you can see here, it is showing me the folder structure that is inside the C drive. I'm having a folder named Frontend Web Development Frontend. Inside this, I'm having a folder named React.js Lecture. Right now, for installing your white with React, first you need to write npm then write create and then write the white at the rate latest and then press enter well this will prompt you to name your project and choose a framework for your react app right Now, you can see here, uh, it is asking me the project name. So, if you want to name your project, just write something like lecture 1 and then press enter. Now, it will ask you to select a framework. So, you will select what? You will select the React that is on number 3rd. Then press enter and then it will ask you about what language which you like, like TypeScript or JavaScript or something else. Well, we will use the JavaScript here. 
for the TypeScript. Uh, we will create the lecture in the future, but normally we use JavaScript. So just go on JavaScript and press the enter and done. Yeah, you can see I'm having a folder which is lecture one. Let's click on it. You can see all the folders and uh, files are now downloaded. These are the main files of your React app. And then for further, what we do first, go to the lecture one folder that is sorry c you can see uh, let me okay now let's write let cd lecture one lecture one is your folder we are going inside of it just click enter now you are inside the folder now here you write npm install npm install just click on it and all the packages which are required in your react app are now getting downloaded as you can see here the process is ongoing it might take some time but yeah after that or everything will be done as you can see here the things get downloaded these are just the warnings we don't need to uh, focus on that and further to start your react app just simply write npm run dev and press enter now your react app is starting it means whatever the thing it, here you can see this whole thing is starting a react app creating a react app and that i am starting by using but the command or a prompt name npm run dev now simply go on this link And this is your react app fine this is your react app and this is the first interface which react provides you from itself now if you want to change that we uh, can do easily by changing the files and the code inside of it right so it is a uh, like very easy method to do it uh, here you can see one thing that is this index.html what is this like all the files which you are seeing here what are these files well index.html is the main entry html file whatever the thing which is happening is coming from here you can see here i am having a title if you want to rename it like i want to rename it with piyush right so if you go to your react app you can see that in the top right the name is changed to piyush how the thing is that everything is connected with this index.html file right and you can see the script tag is uh, taking up to the source of main.jsx now what is this main.jsx this is your main.jsx file as you can see here the main.jsx file is the entry javascript file that mounts the react app the complete react app as you can see here here is one of the component that is app and this is coming from where from the app.jsx now app.jsx is the main react component everything which you can see on the website is coming from this app.jsx whatever the code is written is from here as you can see here like uh, you can see the white plus react i want to change it change it uh, simply you can see h1 tag is having white plus react let's name it fuse sorry let's move fuse let's write the main thing that is subscribe the channel right now if you go on here you can see fine and when you click on it here on that you can see the number is increasing this is how you have to increase the number of subscribers on the channel by clicking it the subscribe button right yeah so everything which you can see they are working is actually up the part of the code which is written here and uh, one more thing that is white.config.js this last one file it is also very important well this is the configuration file for white so if you are going to uh, add on something or just want to change some plugins uh, you need to work with this file white.config.js right so this is the main thing about your react uh, i have already told you that why we use white uh, as a tool with your react and what are the advantages of that so by doing this uh, you can install your react application in your uh, in your folder or uh, and use it right so this was all for today's video thank you so much for watching which we will, we will definitely we meet in the next video with a fresh new topic and take our journey of react js more faster and more better
लेट्स गो एंड गुड बाय